people who don't know what violence is. It's like, here's one that people say, they'll say to a martial arts person, like they'll see someone like uh, John Jones, like if I was John Jones, I'd just fucking kick everybody's ass. Like, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't, okay? Yeah. You know, and all the problems that John Jones has been in, one thing you should notice is never been in a fight. There's no street fights out there with John Jones. You know, I mean, like, I would bet he is least the least likely person to engage in that activity. I bet you're right. Yeah, because exactly. he doesn't want to do it because he knows exactly the consequences, let alone the legal consequences of doing it outside of a cage. Exactly. But when you look at it from someone who has zero understanding, they're like, "Oh, if I was that guy, I'd be kicking everybody's ass." But no, you wouldn't. Because, like, violence, people don't just accept violence. You don't just hit someone to get away with it. They think about that shit forever, and they try to get you back. And yeah. either they hire someone to get you back, or they get you back on their own, or they wait for you to not remember it, and then they, they come around the corner and fucking brain you with a baseball bat. This is what people do. People don't like getting fucked up. If you kick someone's ass, they're going to remember it. They're gonna, and this idea that you're going to be able to suppress people by by attacking them and hitting them with bike locks and you know and not letting them speak at universities that you know you're 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 protesting at it's it's madness and it's 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 so confusing because it's not indicative of what i always thought of when i thought about left wing people i thought they were peace loving people yeah. or well educated and instead you're getting these people that are from their fucking computer they're calling for violence like you don't know what violence is well, the thing is, too, from what I've seen, it didn't start with the bike locks, right? It started with, you know, shout this person down. Yes. And then it's like fist fights, and then they're throwing rocks, and then it's bike locks. And now I hear people, you know, get your guns. And, and it starts to rise to that level. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You people need to calm down because the theory of you know, we need a revolution in this country, you're like, let's pump the brakes, homeboy. Right? Yeah. But first of all, here's what we need. We need camaraderie we need to yeah. be nice this is more important than anything we need to be calm with each other you know this this idea that yelling people down stops anything you're just going to make people yell louder on the other side that that shit does not work that's not how human beings operate when yeah. if you want human beings to appreciate your perspective find the things that you agree on and and work towards like a, a better humanity work towards a, a better more loving way of interacting with each other this is possible while disagreeing and this is one of the most important things i think that we could ever express in terms of how to communicate with each other you don't have to shout people down like the the best way to do it is to try to figure out the points that you can agree on find out what you disagree on and find out why you disagree on it and you're always going to get bad actors right you're always going to get people that are in there that they don't care, they're not reasonable, they just want to win. And but that, there's a giant problem with that kind of communicating because it's so absolute. It's my way or the highway. Like that's that's where violence comes from. That's where that's yeah. where real yeah, that's where real physical conflicts, that's where they come from when there's no way to negotiate, there's no way to communicate outside of that. I just think it's I don't know, bizarre is not the right word. I think it's sad that the vast majority from again, my opinion, what I see is people who are identifying with shit you can see on a street sign yeah like left or right like right. you're telling me that as a species that's as nuanced as we can get you want to completely define yourself and your ideology and your beliefs by something literally you can see just driving your car turn yeah. left turn right it's just i don't understand it i don't um it's the exact opposite world it, to go back to you know getting out of the military and, and just kind of entering into the world I'm like what's going on yeah. it makes no sense to me it makes me extremely uncomfortable i hate hearing people calling for violence um i know and especially calling for violence when it's not necessary against yeah. americans when you what you had to deal with in the military has to be the most intense form of of conflict that's available on planet earth the most intense form of conflict is war that's the real conflict. That's real consequences. You've suffered them physically. You've seen countless friends suffer them physically. That's the real shit. So when you're seeing people from universities, from these coddled environments, and these 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 people with a really a completely ignorant perspective as the as to what the actual consequences of violence are, calling for it, it's just bananas. On one hand, I'm glad that they haven't experienced it because I can tell that they haven't just by the way that they're acting. And I'm, I'm glad that they didn't have to do that. But on the other one, it's a tough pill to swallow because it, I just don't understand. War, war is a, uh, 
it's about as high consequence as you can get for sure. Like I said, it resets your it resets your perspective. And the last thing that I would ever want to see is that here on the streets of the U.S. Like I, I just I can't even imagine how destructive. Well, it would just it would destroy our country for sure. But I also don't I can't figure out and uh, the route out of where we are. So people are calling for violence, right? And got other countries trying to incite get groups together. Like, I, what's the navigable route? out of that mushrooms okay i hadn't way. considered that route it's the only way <laughs> uh, i don't i honestly don't know um i'm hoping that things don't have to come to a head i'm hoping that we don't have a kent state or some some horrible event in this country where you know protesters and and the people that oppose them get into some horrible deadly violent encounter because so far other than charlottesville that time that guy ran over uh, that woman with yep. a car we're seeing most of this violence being at least somewhat contained to fisticuffs, right? And, yep. you know, the the professor that hit that guy with a bike lock, and there's a few other instances of people getting knocked out and punched and hit with sticks. We haven't seen mass shootings and murder, but God damn it, that shit's close. It's, well, it's Especially it's close. when they're doing rallies and people are like, you know, yeah. let's do an open carry rally and everybody yeah. show oh. up in their operator chic apparel <sighs> with... I look at the pictures of that. I'm like, okay, you have a lot of stuff. First off, that's on fucking backwards. You know, like I'm looking I'm like, okay, you have all the tools, but you obviously don't practice with them. Yeah. But the danger of just, you know, what's the next step? First, we're just going to, you know, we're going to wear all of our stuff. All right. Well, if it started at fist and then went bike locks and then went show up with your civil war gear. Right. What's the next step after that? Shooting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to get involved in that. I, I mean, I. <laughs> well, you you picked a good spot where you're at in Montana. I, where I live does not suck. Yeah, <laughs> hang out there and you know, move in once the first few rounds have been fired and the dust starts to settle. I just the I'm, problem is I would want to come off the bench. Of course. But the problem is is if that happens, and I'm not. I guarantee you, I'm not the only one that feels like that. I'm going to get involved, and it's yeah. going to be a serious problem for those individuals because. Uh, I'd give my military career C across the board average. There's absolutely nothing uh, spectacular about my career. I've done more than some, way less than others. But I've sacrificed enough that I'm not going to allow those people to tear us apart. But it's the last thing on earth that I want to do. But if they put me in that position, I know that myself and many other people are in that same boat are going to get involved. And that's I don't know if that's going to help the problem, but it's going to get ugly pretty fast. I just don't remember a time where the country's been so divided in terms of, I mean, I don't know whether it's because of social media and because of the Russian influence on social media compounded with having Trump as a president compounded with, I mean, people that feel like they're disenfranchised and they, they don't feel like they're like, you know, you, you hear about this all the time in regards to uh, income inequality, yep. people feel disenfranchised. They feel like the system has failed them. And that's why so many young kids are favoring socialism. And why so many young kids are, are moving towards that. They, they, they think that anything has got to be better than watching these fat, rich cats with all this money controlling the world. And that the only way to get out of that is revolution. But damn, you're, you know, like, there's a lot of people that are not those fat, rich cats you're positioning yourself against. They're just normal, regular Americans who happen to be conservative. You know, and conservative does not always have to equal racist. It doesn't always have to equal white supremacy. It doesn't always have to equal all the negative connotations, you know, religious fanaticism and all these different things that people always attach towards conservatism. It doesn't have to mean that. It could it could just mean people who are prudent with their finances, who are you know they're they're cautious with the way they think. They're they're more conservative in their values and their ideals. This is this, that's not a bad thing necessarily, but we've got it lumped into these two groups: left versus right, and there's a very little gray area. It's the tyranny of or. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's as if there's only two choices. Yeah. You're either left or right. Yeah. Not, like where's the and? Where's you? trend to the left and you also have some values that are associated with the right yeah or you trend I, that it's uh 